Ladies and gentlemen, distinguished guests, good afternoon, or good, mo good morning, and welcome to the 2024 Department of Navy Sean J. Stackley Acquisition Excellence Award Ceremony. Please rise for the arrival of the official party, the Honorable Secretary Nick Girton, accompanied by his Principal Civilian Deputy, Dr. Brett Seidel, and remain standing for the presentation of colors by the Navy Ceremonial Guard, followed by the singing of our national anthem by Caleb Cox. Color Guard, advance the colors. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight? Oh, the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star-spangled banner yet wave or the land of the free and the home of the brave. Color Guard, retire the colors. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed colleagues and honored guests, I am Marianne Lyons, the Director of Acquisition Talent Management for the Department of Navy, and I will be your Master of Ceremony for today's events. It is with great pride and profound respect that we gather today to announce a significant moment in the history of the Department of Navy Acquisition Excellence Awards. Today, we honor the remarkable legacy of one of the most distinguished leaders in the field of defense and public service, Mr. Sean J. Stackley. Throughout his illustrious career, Mr. Stackley has embodied the values of excellence, integrity, and unwavering commitment to service. His leadership and vision have left an indelible mark on our nation's defense and acquisition communities, making a model for all who strive to advance the mission of national security. As a Navy officer and engineer and dedicated public servant, Mr. Stackley's achievements have been numerous and impactful. His tireless efforts to ensure the success of vital defense programs and his commitment to enhancing the capabilities of our armed forces have earned him the admiration of his peers and the gratitude of a nation. In recognition of his exceptional contribution, I am proud to announce the renaming of these prestigious awards to the Department of the Navy Sean J. Stackley Acquisition Excellence Awards. This action not only celebrates his distinguished career, but also serves as an enduring reminder of the standards of excellence that he has set for future generations. I hope these awards today will inspire those who receive it to follow in his footsteps and continue to uphold the highest ideals of service and leadership. Please join me in celebrating this milestone and honoring the legacy of Mr. Stackley. Yay.
Would you like to say a few words, sir? Come on up. And everyone else seated. I, uh, I first want to, I want to thank uh, uh, Secretary Girton for really the tremendous honor. Um, it is very humbling. And uh, I can, uh, okay, true confessions. I never read DOD 5000. <laughs> I never read the FAR. And so, Marianne, you're going to have to take back all those kind words. But uh, today, it's, it's given me the opportunity to reflect back on my time in, in your seat. And I think you'd agree with me that you've got the best job in a Pentagon, the best job in a Pentagon. You've got the opportunity to work with rich talent stretching across the Navy and Marine Corps, an incredibly important mission day in and day out, and many of whom are going to be recognized here today. Now, in my time, to the extent that I did enjoy any success, it was due to the unheralded efforts of my RDA staff, Jim Thompson, Allison Stiller, Tom Frankfurt, Elliot Branch, Dave Johnson, Dave Architzel, Paul Grosskleggs, and on and on. Tireless efforts. And two, the perseverance of the PEOs and program managers, the financial managers, the contracts officers, with names like Venlet, Lewis, Searing, Moore, Small, Galenis, Stephanie, Rivers, Guttermuth, Reese, Jamie, it's good to see you here today. Shaver, Peters, Chebby, Morley, Downey, Anderson, Smith, Lemon, Mann. I could go on and on. These folks, they're my heroes. They're my heroes. And uh, as I look across the recipients of today's awards, it's great to know that the heroes' ranks are continuing to be filled by just true rich talent but also our partnerships with the Navy and Marine Corps staffs, and also with the Hill and to industry. The point being, acquisition excellence, I can't tell you what acquisition is, but I can tell you acquisition excellence, it's a team sport and requires a large team all pulling together, joined together in the most noble of missions and purposes, protecting the nation, taking care of our men and women in uniform, upholding the Constitution and all of its freedoms, and two, protecting the taxpayer. And I'm greatly encouraged by the stories that we're going to hear today and by the folks who have fulfilled those stories and continue to carry on that mission. Now, having spent some time in industry, I can assure you that your industry partners, they likewise take pride in their role in protecting the nation and taking care of our men and women in uniform. But let me be perfectly clear. For industry, it's what they do. For you, it is who you are. And the sense of purpose, the weight of responsibility that comes with knowing that the defense of our nation rests upon your shoulders, it's unmatched. And the sense of reward that comes with that it's unmatched too. You are the caretakers of this bold and magnificent dream. Now, this past week, my wife and I were in Europe. And wherever we went, the news was about the US presidential election. And whenever another traveler discovered that we were Americans, they wanted to talk about the election, US politics, and what would happen next. And the headline of the London Times yesterday morning summed it up best. Big, bold, black letters. The world awaits America's fate. It did not report on the tens of thousands of sailors and Marines standing watch over the Eastern Mediterranean, the Red Sea, and the Baltics, or those safeguarding the waters stretching from the Straits of Malacca to the Sea of Japan. So, what will happen next? Well, we are a maritime nation, and with strife around the world, all eyes will continue to turn to America, and our sailors and Marines 
will continue to provide for our nation's security and our freedom of the seas. And that, that is acquisition excellence. For throughout our lifetime, our national security has been built upon the technical superiority of our ships, our aircraft, armored vehicles, and weapon systems that we put in the hands of sailors and Marines who go in harm's way. Now, I don't need to tell this audience, but it's getting harder. From unmanned systems, to stealth, to long range precision strike, to artificial intelligence, we are engaged in a technological race. And two, from ships to aircraft to missile systems, a production challenge. So acquisition excellence is about doing whatever it takes to win that race and overcome that challenge. Because the stakes, they're too high to finish second. There's no room for second. And it will take this large team and the legions beyond you all pulling together with a sense of urgency and two, innovation, because the tools of war, they're changing rapidly. You'll need to provide the technical leadership. You'll need to convey that urgency to your industry partners. And as good stewards, you'll need to uphold the standards of fair and reasonable as you navigate between finding your way to the best deal for the government and maintaining a healthy defense industry. We have a long way to go. But as we listen to the accomplishments of this year's Acquisition Excellence Award winners, it's clear that you're well on the way. And Secretary Girton, we can count ourselves fortunate that such rich talent continues to rise up to the challenge and to bear the weight. I congratulate each of you and I thank each of you for what you are going to continue to do. Thank you, Marianne. Thank you, Mr. Stackley. That's it. Okay. We are pleased to now recognize and celebrate all of you and your accomplishments amongst a highly competitive group of acquisition workforce members. It is my great honor to introduce the host for the ceremony today, an individual whose dedication, expertise, and leadership have profoundly shaped the Navy's future in research, development, and acquisition. The Honorable Nick Girton was sw sworn in as the Assistant Secretary of the Navy for Research, Development, and Acquisition on December 20th, 2023. As a presidential appointee confirmed by the U.S. Senate, he leads the Department of the Navy's research, development, acquisition, and sustainment programs, as well as overseeing the department's contracting community. His extensive four-decade career, spanning both military and civilian roles, has been instrumental in advancing our nation's defense capabilities. Before assuming his current position, Mr. Girton served as the senior advisor to the Secretary of Defense on the operational and live fire testing of DOD weapon systems as the director of OTNE. His career has been marked by leadership in submarine operations, ship construction, weapons development, and testing, all of which have contributed to improving defense acquisition and systems engineering. A tireless advocate for innovation and transformation, Mr. Girton has pioneered the use of modular open systems approaches, prototyping, and experimentation. Efforts that have driven greater efficiency and competitiveness with our defense sector. In addition to his impressive hands-on experience, he has published extensively on software-reliant systems, design, testing, and acquisition. Mr. Girton is a licensed professional engineer, a retired Navy Reserve Engineering Duty Officer, and a proud advocate for the continued advancement of our nation's defense capabilities. Please join me in welcoming the Honorable Nick Girton. Uh, thank you, Marianne, for that kind introduction. Um, Mr. Stackley, 
Uh, I got to be honest, that was an intimidatingly great speech. And I'm, I'm, in, I'm in a very tough act to follow. Um, I will have to say that this is my third time on the stage for these awards. Uh, last year, they held off the awards for just a few weeks until I got confirmed, which is fantastic. I think it was like my second day in the job. I'm like, I'm doing what? I'm giving, huh? And, and but anyway, it was a great day. But um, my first time was in 2008 when I was a part of the Open Architecture Enterprise team. And we had just put out a, a contract guidebook and uh, it was uh, Mr. Sackley's vision to give that team a, an award on contracting uh, competition excellence. So uh, third, third uh, time up here and very excited to be a part of sharing this day with all of you. Uh, the long-term challenge, the changing nature of war requires that each of us at acquisition find more affordable ways to bring the fight to our opponents more affordable and more innovative. Just like Mr. Stackley said, the opponent gets a vote and the world is changing and we need to change with it. <clears throat> so you should feel empowered to be a part of that change, to extend your ideas and make them available to others. Uh, Marianne mentioned that uh, I've uh, published more than a few times on the subject. Maybe we should add a category of uh, best published piece of active uh, research in the area of acquisition for next year. Um, so it's, uh, it's been a great opportunity uh, for me to be here. I'm especially happy to be a part of this award ceremony, uh, not just as a fellow recipient, but also someone who believes deeply in that we are constantly changing this business that we're in and requires each of us to think about how to do it better every day. And this is a time where we get to celebrate the people who pulled that off. So with that, we'll get on to the next stage. Thank you, Mr. Gurdon. Now for the first award, the Dr. Al Samaroff Acquisition Award. This award recognizes a program office or team for outstanding acquisition achievement in the accomplishment of its mission. The winner is PMA 274, Presidential Helicopters Program Office in PEO Air ASW Assault and Special Mission at Naval S Air Systems Command. The team is recognized for their superior acquisition achievement in the accomplishment of its strategic no-fail mission. PMA 274 lowered costs and ensured the program performed to plan, exemplified in the reductions in average procurement unit costs by 3% since milestone C. As the program closes out their engineering and manufacturing development and production contract, it is noted their open competition resulted in realized savings of $250 million. They created a world-class organic closed-loop retail and wholesale supply chain, resulting in aviation leading 98% supply effectiveness, 90% mission-capable aircraft required, and 84% fully mission-capable aircraft required that were both above the 80% fleet goals. Accepting the award on behalf of the team is Colonel Alex Rampen. Get up to Owego, New York for the delivery of the final of the VH-92 helicopters. A great experience, a wonderful aircraft. I got a chance to fly in it when I was dot and &E, live fire and all that, and it's an amazing ride. The president got his first trip in it in, um, I think it was Michigan. I don't think he's flown in the old one since. So it's, it's an amazing uh, aircraft, and you guys have done a fantastic job. Thank you. Next is the Field Activity Acquisition Award. This award recognizes a field level command for outstanding acquisition achievement that brings supplies and services to the customer. The winner is the Information Operations Intelligence Surveillance and Reconnaissance, or IOISR, Capability Based In Service Engineering Agent from Naval Information Warfare Center, Atlantic. The team's innovative business strategies and dedicated support provided fleet platforms with IO, ISR systems functioning at peak performance. The team developed C increment F installation contracting strategies, reducing costs while increasing installation comp competition simultaneously. 
Using the unique Synchro tool, the team optimized sparing and pushed time-sensitive patches to over 400 systems in the fleet. The team consistently engaged with deploying platforms for system grooms, provided additional sailor training to ensure mission effectiveness, successfully executed a NAV I-4 campaign plan to bring C increment F operational availability above threshold and provided expanded inner intelligence carry-on program capability to the fleet. Accepting the award on behalf of the team is Mr. John Thompson. Next is the Ron Kiss Maritime Technology Transition Award. This award recognizes an individual or team for outstanding achievement as a result of successfully transitioning a technology into a program of record or into operational use. The winner is PMA 205 Project Linked RDT&E team of PEO Tactical Aircraft from Naval Air Systems Command. The team developed T-45 Charlie Goshak Mixed Reality, or MR, prototype simulator, thereby maturing MR training capabilities to produce a novel flight simulator and set requirements for operational use in training. A cross-disciplinary team of psychologists and engineers across five separate labs at NOC TSD leveraged prior work, iterative development, and extensive fleet engagement to provide a training solution in a compressed time frame able to support student production requirements. Utilizing a blend of commercial and government products, the team saved over $1 million in development and manufacturing cost. Building an MR simulator capable of supporting training objectives while providing a government developed and owned solution at half the cost of potential commercial equivalents. This solution has also transitioned to operational use. Accepting the award on behalf of the team is Commander Lee Scarini. So one of the things we have to remember in this acquisition business, it's a people sport. And sometimes you need people who understand people in order to do it well. I really appreciate the work that you guys have done. Thank, Thank you. Sir. Next is the International Partnership Acquisition Award. This award recognizes a civilian or military individual acquisition coded in any functional area or acquisition team for outstanding achievement in creating international security cooperation relationships as part of the program's development or acquisition strategy. The winner is Australian, United Kingdom, and United States, known as AUKUS, Integration and Acquisition Program Team from Naval Sea Systems Command. The team researched, developed, and presented numerous courses of actions to support Australia's acquisition of a nuclear-powered submarine capability. Their acquisition plan increased attack submarines in the Indo-Pacific, adds submarine construction capacity, and strengthens the industrial base, thereby improving conventional deterrence with adversaries making, ma facing a more strategic calculus if contemplating aggression. Partner resource investments offer significant benefits to the US, including thousands of new jobs, business opportunities, a larger skilled workforce, and improved facilities along with projected cost savings via capacity throughput improvements and economic order quantity buys. Accepting the award on behalf of the team is Jessica Danio. This is where we demonstrate flexibility. <laughs> yeah. Next is the Contracting Excellence Acquisition Team of the Year Award. This award recognizes a team whose outstanding achievement brings increased competition in contracting with superior accomplishment to include enhanced competition among large or small businesses resulting in the best product or service to the customer. The winner is C21 Streamline Growth Management Process Team, Surface Ship Maintenance, Modernization and Sustainment at Naval Sea Systems Command. The team implemented the Streamline Growth Management Process, or SGMP, to help enhance enable surface ships to complete CNO availabilities on time. The pilot demonstrated outstanding results in reducing days of maintenance delays by empowering waterfront project managers to directly authorize the lead, 
maintenance activity to perform, to perform work within scope and funding limits. During availabilities on four ships, the project manager authorized SGMP work to start 90% faster than the 2023 average for request contract change settlement of 28 days. Introducing the SGMP is a cultural shift across the industry and government teams, and the positive impact is already being realized by the Navy and the private sector shipyards. Accepting the award on the behalf of the team is Anne Roadheaver. I'm a club member, right, an alumni of that particular award, but of all the things I've done, the thing that has had the most impact across the Defense Department was contract guidance. Doesn't sound sexy, but it was super impactful, and a lot of people have used those kinds of tools in order to have a dramatic impact on the business we do, tools like the things that those folks have just got through fielding for us. Next is the Competition Excellence Acquisition Team of the Year Award. This award recognizes a team whose outstanding achievement brings increased competition in contracting with superior accomplishments to include enhanced competition among large or small business businesses resulting in the best product or service to the customer. The winner is the Marine Corps Wideband Satellite or MCWS Light Heavy Contracts and Legal Team for Command and Control Systems Program at Marine Corps Systems Command. The team showcased unwavering dedica dedication and expertise in supporting communication systems across a diverse portfolio valued at almost $3 billion. Their innovative approach and adept problem solving skills were pivotal in overcoming complex challenges and facilitating successful milestone decisions for multiple acquisition programs. Their commitment to fostering competition and innovation led to the successful $500 million source selection. By integrating incremental legal reviews into the source selection process, they ensured legal accuracy and sufficiency while accelerating the timeline by two months, which resulted in an estimated savings of $65 million. Accepting the award on behalf of the team is Mr. Jeffrey Smith. Next, is the Innovation Excellence Acquisition Team of the Year Award. This award recognizes a team whose outstanding achievement brings added efficiency to the organization and increased effectiveness to the customer of those activities and commands that have strengthened the capabilities of the naval industrial base and employed strategies that promote domestic availability of components. The winner is PMS 420 Offboard Unmanned Command and Control Systems Program from PEO Unmanned and Small, Combat Small Combatants at Naval Sea Systems Command. The team employed innovative contracting strategies and authorities while leveraging foreign comparative testing and DOD accelerate the procurement and fielding of innovative technologies program that effectively compressed acquisition timelines to meet customer needs for at sea, live file demonstration, and unmanned maritime platforms. They demonstrated a fully unmanned kill chain assembled from a nascent domestic supply chain that successfully destroyed six maneuvering small boats with 100% target success rate. Their innovation substantially advanced future unmanned maritime warfaring, warfighting capability for fleet units in support of the Navy's maritime strategy. Accepting the award on behalf of the team is Mr. Jared Conley. <laughs> Next is the Bend the Curve Award. This award recognizes the outstanding achievement in strengthening fleet capability and capacity by changing the conditions of a problem to improve its outcome. Utilization of methods such as model-based systems engineering or MBSE, digital design through manufacturing, open architecture, additive manufacturing, or predictive maintenance. The winner is PMW 790, Shore-Based Design Center from the Shore Expeditionary C4I Integration Program in PEO C4I at Naval Warfare Systems Command. PM790 is responsible for the modernization and sustainment of 35 major communication activities in over 1,200 shore and ship sites. 
The design center team leveraged MBSE principles to achieve significant efficiencies in time and funding while increasing the accuracy of drawing design outputs and specification. The team leveraged MBSE applications to transform the planning and design process into a smart, robust, and collaborative process that would define, better track, reconcile, and visualize all aspects of project modernization efforts. Accepting the award on behalf of the team is Mr. William Traganza. The kind of deep thought work about figuring out how everything works together and then make it so that you can be repeated and, and active and grow is critically important to our future. Next is the Secretary's Cup Award. This award recognizes an echelon two or three head of contracting activity, which exemplifies the highest examples of small business acquisition excellence and whose achievement brings significant credit to the Department of Navy acquisition community. The winner is Naval Supply Systems Command Headquarters Office of Small Business Programs. NAVSUP demonstrated an unwavering commitment to utilizing small business in order to obtain goods and services that will support and sustain the warfighters worldwide. NAVSUP continues to advance award-winning small business policies and creative initiatives to both promote small business utilization and address Navy readiness concerns. Through these policies and initiatives, they effectively met the mission to promote small business participation and ensure small business advocacy leads to improved market competitiveness and mission effectiveness for years to come. At headquarters and throughout its 11 major commands operating around the world, senior leadership demonstrated a commitment above and beyond support for implementing a pro-small business culture. Accepting the award on behalf of the team is Mr. Christopher Espenshade. <laughs> Next is the Sarkis Tadigan Award. This award recognizes a civilian or military individual acquisition coded in any functional area or acquisition team which exemplifies the highest examples of small business acquisition excellence. They epitomize the culture that leverages small business as a strategic advantage and creates a culture of small business inclusiveness. The winner is PMA 260, Common Aviation Support Equipment Program in PEO Unmanned Aviation and Strike Weapons from Naval Sea Systems Command. Epitomizing a culture that leverages small business, PMA 260 continues to utilize numerous small businesses to satisfy a wide range of Navy and Marine Corps requirements for new aviation support equipment as a strategic advantage. The team obligated $58 million on contract across 29 different small businesses, representing 24% of the program's total funding obligated on contract at the beginning of 2023. The team's use of small business supports the industry base while acceler accelerating new capability deliveries. Accepting the award on behalf of the team is Ms. Mr. Richard Bazemore. So I'm a huge proponent of using small business. It's been very effective for me in acquisition programs I've been involved in in the past. It's critically important to our Secretary of the Navy. And we have completely kicked butt on um, applying small business to the business of naval acquisition. Uh, the team has done a tremendous uh, piece of work. Next is the Yoretta B. Stinson Small Business Advocate Award. This award recognizes a non-small business professional individual who exemplifies the highest examples of small business mission excellence. The winner is Mr. Rocco Sarabo from Na NAVSUP Fleet Logistics Center. Unfortunately, Mr. Sarava was unable to join us today, but we congratulate him on this great achievement. <laughs> Next is the Art Diaz Memorial Award. This award recognizes a Naval Acquisition Development Program individual who displays the qualities that Mr. Art Diaz exemplified in his career, measured by 22 attributes in the congressional record. The winner is Ms. Cynthia Dean, NSWC, Port Wyneme Division at Naval Sea Systems Command. <laughs> the 
Miss Dean demonstrated the attributes of the Art Diaz Award throughout her time in the NADP program. She led from the front by organizing change management to push process automation, data analytics boards, and consolidated data management. She accepted the challenge of working with a diverse workforce through training and implementing new products from the Microsoft 365 to improve process and product quality. She developed and implemented a Power BI failure reporting analysis and corrective action system for the SPY-6 program, which was recently shared with the Marine Corps, Gator, and GBAD programs. Congratulations to Ms. Dean. Great work, and she's so humble about it. She's like, I got my, I'm out of here, right? <laughs> oh, no, we got to put, keep you where we can see you. Fantastic work. Next are the Acquisition Professional of the Year Awards by Functional Area. These awards recognize civilian or military individuals acquisition coded in the functional areas whose achievements best demonstrate outstanding leadership in their functional areas and provide improved effectiveness to the Department of Navy. These individuals demonstrated ex exceptional leadership and acquisition, applied innovation acquisition techniques, and resourcefulness that will enhance their command's effectiveness. For business cost estimating, the winner is Ms. Lisa Huser, Heiser. From PMA 251, Aircraft Launch and Recovery Equipment Program and PEO Tactical Aircraft Programs at Naval Air Systems Command. Ms. Heiser fostered effective, consistent communication with external stakeholders. She approved all cost estimates and products, setting an unwavering standard for excellence. She ensured each deliverable not only met but exceeded the highest quality benchmarks. She dependently created reliable documentation with her leadership, relied upon for timely decision makings. Beyond the surface, her guidance and rigorous review of analyst presentations and discussions have become the cornerstone of process adherence and consistency. Congratulations. For business financial management, the award goes to Mr. Jordan Scott. From PMS 450, Virginia class submarine program in PEO attack submarines at Naval Sea Systems Command. In addition to the expertly managing the staggering day-to-day -day financial demands of the Navy's largest shipbuilding program, Mr. Scott's resourcefulness and innovative solution to a deeply lead acquisition efforts with favorable benefits to both our industry partners and the American taxpayers enabled our submarine industrial base to continue to deliver the to deliver the ships our nation needs. As a financial thought leader across the Navy acquisition enterprise, his tenacity for effective change set the navigation plan for future programs supporting the DOD-led sufficiency reviews. His superior skill as an architect of the joint Columbia and Virginia class, 17 ship by and associated multi-year savings assessment are sure to bring lasting benefits to the submarine force, the Navy, and the industrial base. Thank you. Uh, see, that's what I'm talking about. He brought his own cheerleading squad. We need to make sure <laughs> we, we fill this room up next time and everybody got a chance to celebrate all this. Yes. By the way, his work is not done yet because we haven't actually inked that deal. It's, in, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's a work in progress. <laughs> For contracting, the award goes to Mr. Matthew Fleming, Procurement Contracting Officer in 2.1 Information Warfare Platforms Branch at the Naval Information Warfare Command. <clears throat> Ms. Mr. Fleming cemented his position as the command's subject matter expert and leading practitioner of enhanced cybersecurity contracting. His proactive dedication to acquiring expertise in this area sets him apart as a true leader and innovator in contracting. 
He used special emergency procurement authority to rapidly purchase information warfare systems designed for response and recovery from cyber attack and developed a detailed process to monitor contracting compliance with key cybersecurity standards. These efforts were coupled with continued excellence in team leadership and customer service. Thank you. Congratulations. Last job, operational test, cyber survivability, and all of our systems need to really think thoroughly about recognize, response, and recover. Hard. We're not there yet. We have a long ways to go. For engineering and technical management, the award goes to Mr. Julian Marino Viegas, Light Marine Air Defense Integrated System, or ALMATIS, lead engineer for the ground based air defense program in PEO land systems at Marine Corps Systems Command. Mr. Viegas expertly managed all engineering efforts, including the sustainment of current systems and the development of processes for Elmatis program of record. His leadership during the refurbishment of eight Elmatis systems ensured rapid return to operational status for low altitude air defense Marines. He personally led the development and execution of rigorous test procedures ensuring that each system met the highest standards of a performance. His tireless efforts and total dedication to duty reflect great credit upon himself and in keeping with the highest standards of the acquisition community. Congratulations. Now for program management, the award goes to Ms. Anastasia Mack from PMA 274, Presidential Helicopters Program in PEO Air, ASW, Assault, and Special Mission Programs at Naval Air Systems Command. As As the deputy program manager, Ms. Mack distinguished herself through exceptional leadership and outstanding program management performance. Her superior acquisition skills and business acumen have reduced program costs, fielded aircraft on time, and increased capability to create lasting benefits to the program. She created a high-performing team culture grounding in the Navy's core values. She, she was deliberate, disciplined, and, and detailed program management work has set the conditions for the program's success, enabling it to be named as ASNRD, one of ASRDA's top five performing acquisition programs. Her performance has further ensured the program's ability to fully deliver quality at all levels and ensured, assured HMX-1 accomplished the Marine Corps' only strategic no-fail mission. Congratulations. Fantastic. I got a chance to fly in one of HMX-1's um, V-22s recently for the Oigo trip to, for the VH-92. It was, wow, what a great ride. Fantastic work. The final awardee in this category of Acquisition Professional of the Year is for test and evaluation. And this goes to Ms. Lindsay Underwood from PMA 274, Presidential Helicopters Program in PEO Air, ASW Assault, and Special Mission Programs at Naval Air Systems Command. Ms. Underwood distinguished herself as a world-class leader and exceptional test and evaluation professional. Her superior acquisition skills and developmental test acumen have reduced program costs and increased aircraft capability, creating lasting benefits to the program. Ms. Underwood's management of the integrated test team ensured the on-schedule and successful completion of several high-priority, high-risk, and major joint test events, supporting developmental test, operational test, and ultimately, the presidential helicopter mission commissioning. Through her leadership, the ITT accumulated over 175 flight and 1,600 ground mishap free test hours that significantly reduced program risk. Congratulations. I don't know if anybody caught that, but she's a civilian test pilot, which is, first of all, a tester, I love that. But uh, civilian test pilot, that, what a great job, huh? Okay. OK. 
Okay. Oop. Sorry, I'm just backing up here just for a second. Um, we want to recognize the Act Professional of the Year for Life Cycle Logistics. Okay. Didn't mean to forget logistics, sorry about that. It was definitely not intentional. Um, for Life Cycle Logistics Award, it goes to Mr. Nicholas Kessel from PMA 261, Heavy Lift Helicopters Program and PEO Air Anti-Submarine Warfare and Special Missions Program. Mr. Kessel demonstrated exceptional leadership, managerial acumen, and mentorship across his team through his adept ability to communicate across two external stakeholders. The team carried out several contract awards in excess of $169 million for the Gearbox Organic Capability Establishment contract. The significance of this effort was the foresight to break apart from the main rotor head tasking in order to align contract award with the current $43 million military construction contract through NAVFAC and the $47 million gearbox test stands awarded through NAWCAD Lakehurst. The awards of this organic capability will provide the critical maintenance planning resources required in support of the new facility and support equipment for the Fleet Readiness Center. Congratulations. Really, we could, we could have lost some other category than logistics? That was, right. that was rough. <laughs> okay, now the, uh, we recognize the ACAT2 and below Product Support Manager of the Year Award. This award recognizes a product support manager at the ACAT 2 through 4 below senior executive service or flag general officer rank, whose achievements in acquisition best demonstrate outstanding leadership in acquisition field and improved effectiveness. The winner is Mr. Jason Sprayberry from PMA 272 Advanced Tactical Aircraft Protection Systems Program. Mr. Sprayberry's exceptional leadership expert technical knowledge and financial acumen have been instrumental in the success of the program. Driven by process discipline, he led a geographically dispersed team of 70 personnel executing cohesive support strategies for 49 acquisition programs across 27 type model series aircraft. He was a catalyst behind the integrated defense electronic countermeasures organic depot stand-up. And this $40 million initiative improves readiness and systems repair turnaround time. His unwavering commitment towards the supportability and maintainability of the aircraft survivability equipment, improved readiness software configuration, configuration reporting, and inspection frequencies that were critical to ensuring the equipment were available and supportable. Congratulations. especially grateful we have that award having worked on more than a few ACAT 2 and below programs it's uh, it's, it's great to you know, put the spotlight on the large number of programs that are in that category that do such great work next is the ACAT 1 product support manager of the year this award recognizes a PSM at the ACAT 1 level below the senior executive service or flag general officer rank the winner is Mr. Jordan Schmaltz in PMA 271 Airborne Strategic Command Control and Communications Program at PEO Air, ASW Assault, and Special Mission in Naval Air Systems Command. Mr. Schmaltz's leadership, innovative approach to product support and focus on mentoring his team ensured delivery of current readiness to the Navy's only strategic aircraft while establishing the groundwork for future readiness of recapitalization aircraft, which will execute the take charge and move out mission he masterfully balanced the vastly different requirements of an aging aircraft with that of a pre-Milestone B acquisition effort, focusing on current readiness of the low-density E-6 Bravo aircraft. He implemented Naval Sustainment System Aviation best practices while integrating the EXX product support strategy requirements into model-based 
Systems Engineering. Congratulations. Next are the Program Manager of the Year Awards. These awards recognize program managers at the ACAT 2 and 1 level whose achievements in acquisition best demonstrate outstanding leadership in the acquisition field and provide improved effectiveness to the Department of the Navy. The first Program Manager of the Year Award for ACAT 2 is for ACAT 2. The winner is Captain Jonathan Haas from PMS 408 Expeditionary Mission Program in PEO Unmanned and Small Surface Combatants at Naval Sea Systems Command. Captain Haas managed. <laughs> Captain Haas managed six lines of critical products that include counter electronic warfare, anti terrorism afloat. EOD and expeditionary medical. He ensured timely fleet deliveries across the portfolio, consisting of almost 10,000 end items. The program provided the fleet with more than 7,800 EOD publications and information products, and supported the delivery of 28 Joint Counter Radio Controlled Electronic Warfare, or J Crew systems. They also delivered 318 J Crew systems to Australia and New Zealand and delivered 3,800 end items of expeditionary equipment to multiple partner nations. Captain Ha's mission dedication embodies the finest examples of leadership, collaboration, and resourcefulness. Congratulations. Next is the Program Manager of the Year Award for ACAT-1. The winner is Colonel Vasilios Pappas from PMA-276 Marine Corps Light Attack Helicopter Program in PEO Air ASW Assault and Special Mission at Naval Air Systems Command. Colonel Pappas led the program to multiple successes in aircraft delivery, overall improvements in H-1 readiness and personnel management. His efforts resulted in the H-1 program achieving the longest sustained positive mission-capable aircraft required and fully mission-capable aircraft required rates in decades. He delivered 12 aircraft to the Kingdom of Bahrain and delivered aircraft and training capability to the Czech Republic. In addition, he implemented multiple initiatives aimed at providing a positive work environment for his personnel. Colonel Pappas's leadership ability, personal initiative, and unwavering devotion to duty reflected great credit upon himself and were in keeping with the finest traditions of the Navy. And the Marine Corps. And now for the final award, we recognize the Rear Admiral Wayne Meyer Memorial Award. This award is the Department of Navy's highest acquisition award and celebrates the exceptional contributions and leadership in the field of acquisition. It is with great honor that we recognize Mr. Jay Stephanie as the winner this year. With over 37 years of civil service, Mr. Stephanie's career has been marked by distinguished leadership in critical Navy and Marine Corps acquisition programs. In his role as the principal civilian deputy starting in October 2019 and then transitioning to performing the duties of or acting ASNRDA starting in January 2021 until Honorable Girton's confirmation in December 2023, <laughs> Mr. Stephanie was instrumental in guiding the Navy and the Marine Corps research development and acquisition efforts. His oversight of a vast portfolio, encompassing shipbuilding, aviation, space, weapon systems, and communication programs, have been pitiful, pivotal in improving operational readiness and technology, technological superiority. With a team of over 54,000 acquisition professionals and an annual budget exceeding $50 billion, under his leadership, Mr. Stephanie's impact on the Navy and the Marine Corps capabilities is immeasurable. His tireless efforts to ensure alignment between our acquisition community and key stakeholders resulted in consistent support each year by Congress. 
He is always keen to mentor the workforce and has been instrumental in supporting many of our strategic programs to better align the industry and the government workforce. His steady hand guided the acquisition community through COVID, COVID pandemic, the stand-up of AUKUS, and expanding alignment with all of our allies. Revitalizing the maritime and sustainment industrial base, only to name a few, and always with a strategic vision to push exploration of innovative approaches. His vision, leadership, and dedication have significantly advanced the mission of the Department of Navy, making him a most worthy recipient of this prestigious honor. embarrass him on the stage. If you, if you want to stick around, though, I had a huge hard problem, and only the best person that on the team could have been the person to help drive it to, into a really good place. We had all a ton of money going out to um, industrial base improvement. Not money to build a product, but to build a product better. And we had, it was um, being run as a, a, additional duty as assigned in a variety of different places. It needed to be brought together with strong leadership and somebody who knew how to build a team and how to create something out of nothing. And Jay's taken on the role of the direct reporting program manager for Maritime Industrial Base at a time that was critical for the Navy to have a strong leader like him to drive that into a great place where we can have it as an enduring capability, and I can't tell you how grateful I am for your partnership and for the great work you've done for the Navy and the nation. Mm -hmm. Thank you, sir. Awardees, we congratulate you on your remarkable achievement. Your efforts and dedication inspire us all. Please stand as the official departee departs. Thank you again. And this concludes the 2024 Sean J. Stackley Department of Navy Acquisition Excellence Award Ceremony.